We have arrived. This is Route 941, brought to you by the world's greatest shoe store, Green Lee Shoe. This is Dennis. Glad you're riding shotgun with me as we travel our region to find the best in local country music. Tonight on Route 941, we're featuring Kevin Chase. Born in St. John, lives in Petticodiac, works a family farm, and uses music as an outlet for creativity and for fun. Kevin Chase, thanks for talking with me tonight on Route 941. All right, well, thanks for having me. My pleasure. Now, as somebody that's been playing music in our region for a very long time, was your family musical? Yeah, I grew up all around music, man. My uh, my mother sings, and I've got some uncles that play in, in, in our musical, and uh, yeah, I, I kind of grew up all around it. So you heard all kinds of music. Yeah. Who would you say was the, the first country artist that you really grew to love listening to? Well, it's a tough question. I think it's... Uh, not just listening to, but I think the one that really stood out the most for me was, was, was Garth Brooks. Um, and it's not just listening, it was just, it was more watching as much as listening. Man, this this guy had charisma and he uh, he brought country music to a whole different level, right? And of course, he had that whole performance aspect that no one else was doing. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's been, before that, great, a whole line of great artists. At, uh, that I that I enjoyed listening to, but uh, he was the one that kind of got it all started for me. But uh, when he came around, man, he uh, he really got me going. I mean, I, that's when when I started picking up guitar and started playing country music. So I I can say I can owe it to all to all to him. So. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. At that time, Garth just blew the doors open. Absolutely. You know, he just brought all kind of all sides of the show to it. It really would seem that you took some great inspiration from Garth because once you got out there and you started going, things really opened up for you. So much, in fact, that you got to tour mainland China back in 2012. How did that actually happen? Well, my former management, uh, Jim Cannell, I'll give all the credit to him. Um, it's kind of a streak of luck, really. Uh, I had just signed with a, a, a European label, AGR Music, part of uh, Universal. At that time, they got a call saying they were looking for country and western they call it and uh, looking for an act to come to come over and do some you know do a little tour and he was like well i just happen to have this new guy that i just signed so it just i mean it just all kind of happened just like that that's perfect what a great opportunity is there a big market for country music in china you know what i think there's a big market for any type of music um, i think they're really opening up to north american music we were going in there blind. People didn't know who Kevin Chase was. I mean, Melanie Morgan came along with us, but we were blown away. Like, we, we did five cities in seven days, I believe it was. And I think most most of those shows were sold out. Kevin, that's incredible. And they didn't even know who we were. I mean, that's what that's what blew me away. Sometimes I look back and I still can't believe that, uh, that, that we were there. And what was that exactly like to be flown all across the world, be bused to these big venues, and you got to put on your guitar and play with musicians from our hometown? And just play some good old country music in front of thousands of people. Well, you know what? It was nice. It was nice to have all those guys there. I mean, we just had a great time over there. We still talk about it. I mean, we're putting up uh, posts on Facebook still about uh, China, how great it was, and we're commenting on it and everything. It's just, it's just great memories. Oh, for sure. Now, we know a lot of the same people in the music circle in this region. Absolutely. Now, I don't know if you knew this or not, but playing music with Kevin Chase is actually a mark of success for a hired musician. Well, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's a good job as radio because you want to see my face uh, blushing right now. You know. But in all honesty, all the guys say the same thing about you, that you're a real down-to-earth, easygoing guy. So when it comes to music, what does success mean for Kevin Chase? Uh, the biggest thing with music is have fun with what you're doing. I mean, if you can't have fun, you're, you're not doing the right thing. Don't get me wrong, I've done a, a lot of great things over the years. I mean, I've been into this business, I think, almost 25 years now or better and uh one thing i've learned is is have fun with it because if you get i mean if you don't have fun with it if you're too uptight you know it takes away so much because we all i mean we all do it all us musicians and artists we all do it for the love of absolutely i'm at a point in my life right now that you know i'm happy i'm, I'm at peace uh, with what i'm doing and musically, I'm I'm where I want to be. I think that's absolutely the best piece of advice that you, anyone could give a potential musician. And I heard you say you're getting married soon, so congratulations. Yeah, well, thanks. We we're actually we we're supposed to get married last year, but COVID kind of spoiled that. <laughs> but uh, this year, we 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 just basically said if uh, if the actual wedding doesn't happen, we said the heck with it. We're going to do it anyways. 
and just have a big party later. <laughs> we are not letting COVID stop it. So That's excellent, Kevin. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. What's it going to be like when you have the chance to get back on stage and play for a crowd again? Well, you know, it's. I think it's going to be a big relief, but nerve-wracking at the same time. Yeah, for sure. Because we've been away from it for so long, right? It's like there will be some jitters and some uh, little, little bit of rust, but I think... Just the joy and the excitement of getting back out there and uh, playing for people is, is exciting for sure. Right on. Yeah, a little bit nervous, but a lot of excitement. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the time when I get back in the studio and, and uh, give her one more kick of the can and see what, see what happens, right? Absolutely. Can't wait to hear it. Kevin Chase, thanks so much for chatting with me tonight on Route 941. Well, listen, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Tonight, we're featuring the music of Kevin Chase. Here's Whole lot of Honey on Country 94. Hot summer night. County Fair I guess the whole town Must have been there I was full swing About to ring that bell When she caught my eye On the Ferris wheel She was hotter than a home-baked Apple pie Cotton candy kisses Falling down of the sky She's a whole lot of honey Sweet as a dew On a honeysuckle Riding with me as we check our region to find the best in local original country music. Come back again next week and I'll feature another artist. Route 941 is brought to you by the world's greatest shoe store, Greenlee Shoe and Country 94.